So here I've got a pulse ox on and I'm trying to test my oxygen saturations due to a video I saw on YouTube of making the claim that the carbon dioxide inside your helmet is dangerous whenever you're sitting still with the visor closed. This little flap is the number one thing a manufacturer can do to decrease noise, to sell a quiet helmet. But what if I can cite 10 peer-reviewed studies that suggest neck curtains trap CO2, decreasing brain function by 50%. Now I have to say, after I watched this whole five minute video from Fortnite, I was concerned about the possible issues of having a closed visor but then I thought about it a little bit more. Fortnite put a CO2 sensor that measured parts per million of carbon dioxide inside of a helmet and took some measurements. And uh, that was solely measuring the air quality or air uh, content inside the helmet. Um, they went ahead to cite several other studies that were conducted into brain function and reduced amounts of oxygen and increased amounts of carbon dioxide, that they drew the conclusion indicated that your brain function could be reduced by as much as 50% simply by wearing a helmet with a closed visor while you were not moving. Now here at Fort Nine, we test pig to limit. Yes, here, they literally compared the wearing of a helmet to breathing in a plastic bag. It's citably concerning. It's beyond Health Canada's exposure limit for indoor air quality. Tidal volume is a measure of the amount of air that you move in and out of your lungs with every breath. And the average adult male moves about 500 milliliters of air, and the average adult female moves 400 milliliters of air. Um, based on that air exchange, every time you breathe in, you're drawing in a half a liter of air, and then you're blowing out a half a liter of air. With that much air flow moving, the helmet doesn't simply have a half a liter less air than it did prior to your breath, and when you breathe out, it does not then contain an extra half liter over what it does. There has to be air exchange occurring. So I decided to raid my med kit and get out my pulse ox and do a little bit of testing while I was wearing my winter helmet. Now this helmet from BRP with a uh, heated visor is what I wear when I ride my motorcycle on ice. And as you can see, it's not got much for air vents. It's just simply got these two exhale vents here that draw a little bit of air outside. Other than that, there's not a whole lot of uh, free air exchange going on. And it even has this neck collar that squeezes around your neck and seals inside of the collar of your coat to prevent cold air from flowing in and out of your helmet or in and out of your collar because that would be a frostbite problem in extreme cold. Most people wear this type of helmet when they're snow machining. Not quite so many are wearing them when they're motorcycling. Obviously, you could argue that this type of helmet is probably the most air-restrictive helmet that is currently in use by anyone anywhere. It not only is has less air vents, it has literally got a seal around your neck to help prevent airflow from happening unnecessarily and to maintain heat inside of your helmet. Um, we'll give it a little pause here. I'm going to let my heart rate slow down and then we'll shut the visor and we'll watch, uh, give it uh, five to 10 minutes and see how my oxygen saturations hold up. And we will see if the carbon dioxide content in my breath or in my helmet that collects there is actually a problem or not. Here, as you can see, now that my heart rate is at rest at 83, 84 beats per minute, my oxygen saturations are sitting at 98 and 99%. That is a pretty good rate. And now let's see what it is after a bit of time with the visor shut. Here we are about two minutes in, um, trying to breathe pretty much normal. Up and down a little bit as soon as the blow is 95. Uh, we'll check again here in about two minutes. 
So here we are after five minutes of the visor completely closed. Pulse ox is showing 98% while I'm talking to what's down to 96. Heart rate sitting at 82. Now we're down to 97 again. And it looks like we're doing pretty good. I think this uh, tidal volume when it's breathing is measurably more than the standing air inside my helmet. So I really don't think there's that much to worry about with the amount um, of air that you're breathing inside your helmet, even if the neck is pretty filled up. So now after five minutes here, I'll take a look at my own numbers. We're sitting at 97% when I opened the visor, heart rate 86, which is about what it was before. It's raised a little bit just because I'm talking. Uh, but the way I see it, I don't uh, spent more than six or seven minutes inside the helmet, visor closed, neck sealed up real well. As you can see, this is a winter helmet, and uh, it really isn't, um, my oxygen saturations are still outstanding. Now that I'm talking, they're up to 99% with the visor open. I would say you shouldn't breathe extremely shallow, but I was breathing pretty normal for this, so I would say this pretty well debunks the hazards they claim um, of having all your vents sealed up and your visor closed. If you're interested in watching the Fortnite video I'm referring to, I will link it in the description so that you can go ahead and watch and form your own opinion on what was said based on what I have found. I think my now opinion is wealth based in fact and i have satisfied myself that i don't have anything to worry about while wearing my helmet even if stationary at this point thank you for watching uh and take care we'll catch you next time